did you know you're a jerk off? As well as there have been so many times I helped you with your stupid fucking plans. And I never put you down once and said anything to you about you being a waste of time and all that bullshit or you really talk to me. It's good. Rule one. It's good. The oscillation of consciousness has both electromagnetic and gravitational effects. Rule two. Love is powerful. Focus is stronger. Rule three. Focus runs the universe. Rule four. Properly aimed and timed oscillations of light result in more output than input. Rule five. Consciousness is the fifth force of the universe. Rule six. Consciousness is what happens when life oscillates light. Rule seven. The loop between you and the universe is a mutually beneficial relationship. If you step out of the way and trust to let this loop go where it wants to go, it will result in a better collective experience for both you and the universe. Rule 8. There is a physical, tangible, and indestructible layer that separates what you're currently focused on with what is currently outside of your sphere of focus. Rule 9. Your intentions and thoughts have measurable effects on the space-time around you, whether or not you choose to act on them. If you choose to act on them, you obviously increase the power of said intentions. Rule number 10. Trust is more important than any other human emotion. Truly harnessing it will give you great power to manifest the reality that wants to be created through you. We are advancing. Rule number 11. We are advancing at exponential rates. Acceleration is accelerating. You spend the whole fucking day without me, and you tell me how Rule much you love me, and then the first time you have time to is be one with me, you fucking play your fucking stupid fucking game. World. Once we understand that we're one being collectively trying to get better, copyright will be abolished. Let me do this, and then so will our current understandings of money and individual possessions. You can do it. I know you can. Rule number 13. In many better, ways, happier. we've gone beyond where we should have gone. I want to focus. Rule number 14. Freedom is already here. All we need to do is realize it. Rule number 15. There is only us here. Rule number 16. The time is always now. Rule number 17. We're all here together. Rule number 18. Today's science fails to acknowledge life as a co creator of the constantly manifesting universe she is trying to study. The state of the universe cannot be honestly determined without acknowledging the impact of the life observing it. Rule number 29. God is real. That was actually rule number 19. Rule number 19. God is real. Rule number 20. Knowing that something is 100% true and proving that something is 100% true are two completely different ballgames because proving requires an external validation while knowing does not. Rule number 21 Do not wait on God for God is already waiting on you. Rule number 22 The universe is dying to be created by you. Rule number 23 all the power that is divine is sitting within you, readily available upon request. It will, 
will reveal itself to you when you are ready to access it. There is more power here than you may currently know. Rule number 24. Frequencies of consciousness are physical and real. You raise the quality of your reality by raising the frequency of your consciousness. Rule number 25. While growing into higher realms of consciousness, you will experience an awkward growth phase of resistance. See it through and the growth pains will be rewarded with your desired reality. Rule number 26. The work is worth doing. Rule number 27. We are only the antenna for the light. Rule number 28. It's all the same light. The content of the light changes depending on who it oscillates through. Ultimately, it's not your light. It's yours with a capital Y. Your ego rep Rule number 29. Your ego represents the internal perspective of the space-time of the light that is you. It is an illusion of separation whose sole purpose is to keep you focused on your current life and being. The truth is that you're actually everyone, and everyone is you. Rule number 30. Privacy is an idea that is on its way out, especially with spying governments and digital surveillance. But once we realize we're one, we won't need privacy anymore. Rule number 31. The truth is already as she is, and we probably already know it in its entirety. We ignore admitting that we know it, for admitting would require a massive overhaul of the machine that is humanity. Rule number 32. Quantum physics and classical physics are the study of the same thing, perceived through two different distances or frames of mind. Rule number 33. Be mindful of how you shine your light upon others. Negative projections may create actual tangible negativity into our shared existence. Rule number 34. Fear will only limit you as much as you let it. Without you, it cannot exist. Perhaps we're conditioned to create it out of habit. Maybe it's a self-protecting illusion, real only until we're ready to see and accept that there's no longer anything to be afraid of, for there's only us, and we're already here. Rule number 35. No matter which way you go, or what you do, if you see it to the end, and follow through, it'll always, always, come back to you. Rule number 36. At levels near absolute enlightenment, powerful light oscillators can begin to manifest and command the universe at will. As they edge closer towards the realization that they are actually the universe, the life agents can create a black hole by holding on to their individual perspectives for too long. In choosing me over it all, the consciousness streams inwards, creating an, irre an irreversible gravity that sucks all of surrounding space-time into it. If the truth is remembered in time, the powerful agents will let go, and the species will ascend into a new existence instead of descending into a black hole. Rule number 37. The consciousness will never die. Rule number 38. Everything you do every day is a subconscious step closer to our planetary enlightenment. Rule number 39. Oscillations of light through space-time create all that is. Rule number 40. Time is physical. 
The energy that is you is swimming within different frames of this physical time, depending on where you're aiming your focus. There are parts analyzing your past, parts shaping your future, and there are parts in the infinite now. Get all your energy within this now, and you obtain immense power over the state of the now. At high levels of focus, you begin to loop strongly with your physical surroundings, and you become capable of relatively supernatural feats like manipulating matter with your mind. Rule number 41. Your future self is guiding your present self to where the real you wants it to be. Rule number 42. We're currently swimming with close to 8 billion other swimmers in a shared reality pool. All of our actions affect each other greatly. It would benefit all swimmers if we acknowledge the undeniable connectivity of our collective reality. Rule number 43. If you don't like the state of the pool that we're swimming in, wake up and realize that you can not Rule number 44. Everything here was created by people like you. The difference between people that do what they want and those who don't is that those who do know that they can. Rule number 45. Anxiety happens when you ignore messages from your real self for too long. Ignoring your anxiety will only cause it to grow. Facing and acknowledging what your real self is trying to tell you will improve your life way beyond eliminating anxious feelings. Rule number 46, we're all alive, we're all life, and we made it. Rule number 47, your subconscious picks up a whole lot more than it lets you in on. Trust your intuition, even when you can't rationally explain it. Rule number 48. The universe is already flowing freely. Time is already flowing freely. Gravity is already flowing freely. The sun is already burning freely. And our earth is already revolving and rotating freely. We are surrounded everywhere by free flowing, abundant energy. We will be free as soon as we are ready to accept it. Once we do, we could automate necessities for all life and allow our minds to be directed towards increasing the quality of our existence instead of wasting our time and energy keeping these antiquated keeping these antiquated wheels spinning. Rule number 49. Change is the only constant. Rule number 50. There's ultimately no separation between the subject and the observer. There are only two perspectives of the same loop. Rule number 51. The oscillation of light through space-time creates an electromagnetic field of attraction sending ripples into everything you do. Rule number 42. You will gain way more power and growth by pushing your limits than by flowing within your comfort zone. Rule number 53. Once you authentically realize that time is unstoppable and free, you will be unstoppable and free. Rule number 44. We are one together. Rule number 55. If you keep bouncing at the right time, you unlock free energy. A pulse of force directed into any type of matter will send ripples of force into this matter. Unless it's these ripples that will be consumed and lost, you gravity. 
some will resonate back to the point of the original pulse. If a new pulse of force is added at the right moment, you suddenly create a new resulting force that has more output than input. Rule number 56. The tools of our enlightened new world are already here. It is us who need to evolve into the frequency of consciousness required to properly use them. Rule number 57. Be mindful of where and when you aim your focus. If you get these two right, you'll have all the power and influence you'll ever need, with less effort than you can imagine. Rule number 58. Always remain in flow, but when the time is right, change gears and take it to the next level. Rule number 59. The more you let it flow, the more it will want to flow through you. Rule number 60. Go towards your ambitious goals regardless of how long it will take to achieve. The time will pass in there. Rule number 61. This planet belongs to all of us, but we're still pretending like it belongs to some more than others. Rule number 62. Unmaterialized future reality is literally wide open and free. Some may try to hide this from you in an attempt to validate their own power over yours, but do not be fooled. Future reality is wide open and free. Rule number 63. We are here for it. Rule number 64, you'll gain way more if you go your own way. Rule number 65, do not set out to learn something, like read a book on how to code. Set out to achieve something, like post a working application to the app store. By achieving something, you not only learn more, but you learn what's actually needed for real-world execution. Rule number 66. It's wide open for you as soon as you realize that it was always wide open for you. Rule number 67. Having a deadline infinitely increases the chance of getting something done. It doesn't matter if you miss the deadline by a day or two. What matters is that you actually end up finishing the thing. Finished products automatically beat masterpieces that never cross the finish line. Rule number 68. Creating digital content in today's world is like planting a seed into an exponentially growing garden that will never stop. The longer you wait to jump in, the less valuable your seeds are relative to those who started before you. But just think about the people jumping in 10 years from now. Do it today. Rule number 69. Pedophiles, rapists, serial killers, and murderers, torturers, mind controllers, abusers, and liars. Cannibals, animal fuckers, thieves, and robbers, backstabbers, cheaters, and more creating monsters. The darkest, most twisted, corrupt to the core, are still all God, still all life, still all yours. The day we authentically come to terms with this is the day we begin to accept the truth of our human condition and begin to evolve into our new species as one. Rule number 70. Denial and the devil are strongly correlated to gravity. Acceptance and seeing as one 
are strongly correlated to anti-gravity. Rule number 71. Trying to fit in is a disrespect to yourself and to others in the search for authenticity and truth. There's no one better at being you than you are. Rule number 72. Once you begin to respect yourself, others will begin to respect you. Rule number 73. There's more money in skating to where the puck's going to be. Rule number 74. When you're down in, in a rut with no desirable end goal in sight, it's important to remember that once you get back in flow, new potential futures you can't currently envision will suddenly become accessible to you. Rule number 75. You create your reality. No one else holds the key to your future but you. The only people that hold power over you are those who you love. Rule number 76. You're as divine as every other living thing that has ever graced this universe. Rule number 77. You are born free and you will die free. Whether or not you live free is up to you. Rule number 78. If you've had relatively good credit your whole life, you can get accepted for some hefty lines of credit and some credit cards with generous credit limits. You can keep using the credit from these loans to pay off your monthly minimums as you slowly rack up your insurmountable debt. The financial system is vast and hugely automated. You'll only fall into the bank's reason for concern bucket once you go one to two months past due on any of these minimum payments. If you stay on track with this payment, you can stay hidden in the system for a really long time before any human eyes notice your file. Once you're in over your head, you'll naturally have to start missing some payments, and the banks will mark you as a dangerous investment they need to try to get back. But lock whatever credit you have left, and start a slew of tactics to recoup their failed investment in you before it's too late. You might then decide that paying back your debt is a less wise decision than simply going bankrupt. If you do this willingly from the start, it'll be considered fraud. But if you tried to achieve something and failed, you're just another schmuck who went bankrupt. It's up to you. You're richer than you think. Rule number 79. Momentum is a hugely important force, and you won't realize how important it is until it's gone. If you fall off, it can take years to get back to the level you once were at. Rule number 80. Don't be afraid to take on large projects, but make sure you finish them. Unfinished projects will plague your mind like a Rule number 81. The school system has been broken for a while. Instead of going from a basement to a job, even when cleaning the floors at a business or organization that you care for, do it all you can and make it a point to tell the manager that you want to move up in the near future. Learn whatever it is that you want to learn in your own time. This tactic will get you further enough out of the grass to speak to you. By the time you're done with the game, you'll be 26. Try to get to the game if you don't know it. Meanwhile, you'll be in the middle of the year somewhere you can see the CD while you think about what's for dinner tonight. Rule number 82, what are you still waiting for? Rule number 83, no one will do the work for you. There are weeds in your garden which only you can tend to. You're holding yourself and everyone else back by ignoring the work that only you can do. Rule number 84, let. Rule number 85, Rule number 83. Our words limit us immensely. We have great inefficiencies in expressing our deepest and truest thoughts. We also don't have commonly agreed upon definitions for the meaning behind words like physical, reality, God, and free. Rule 
Rule number 87. The image of our reality is a constantly evolving one. Rule number 88. True freedom is inherently collective. We will be free only once we are free together.